<laughs> iPhone 2 leg birthday. Hey, iPhone 10 leg birthday. Hey, iPhone 12 leg birthday. Hey, <laughs> what's up, guys? It's your girl, Onana, and today a Cameroonian lady has been caught at the airport with tons of drug on her hair. Oh my god, this life at the fast pain that people want to live, living the fast life. You will not work hard and justify your daily gary. You want to look for fast money. All these drugs that they've caught you with now, like this, you're going to have like 20 or 30 years imprisonment and you're going to get a fine. Where's your family going to get money to pay all of that? And you are going to be in jail. What are you going to tell your kids? What are you going to tell your family? Now you are ashamed. You're covering your face. When you were planning. <laughs> Where, Papa, God, what kind of balog this say? Look at somebody's like this is a mature lady. She's not 10, she's not 15, she's not 20. This is a mature lady. Someone who is most likely in her 30s or 40s, even. And you are still doing things like this, sis. Look at her hair. Oh no, now it is scratch you. Now wow. Now your pictures are everywhere. People are gonna recognize you. Those who really know you will see this and know it is you. Oh, you can never have your life back again, sis. Why did you let the devil fool you like this? Deceive you like this? This is terrible. So this video today is really going to be short. I have so many things I'm doing. I just want to make a quick commentary. The youths of today, we should be careful. We should avoid this moving in the fast lane kind of life. This too fast, too furious life is not good for everybody. We should learn to work hard and justify our daily gary. It is true that you can also work smart as opposed to working hard. But smart working does not mean duping people, does not mean dealing drugs, does not mean getting in trouble with the law. Because now your life is going to be ruined. The money you thought you were going to be making in the fast lane, now you're going to be in jail and it's going to bring a whole lot of wahala for your poor family so youth we should be careful avoid things that are not legal if somebody's coming to you to give you business ideas or so they call it you just have to like evaluate the thing is it illegal is it something that can get me in trouble is it something that will be embarrassed if i get caught you know you have to ask yourself all these questions forget life in the first lane no everything you see on social media is packaging do not be pressured by people's lifestyle you see people with the latest cars the latest balenciagas the latest gucci and all that stuff and you're thinking oh my god my life sucks your life does not circle your life does not suck your little fifty thousand you're making say thank you jesus your little ten thousand or whatever you're making say thank you jesus somebody else is looking for that they don't have so forget all these flashy things you see on social media people actually come on social media to deceive you purposefully they snap all these beautiful pictures for the gram some of them are faking it so let nobody pressure you when you're on social media just do your thing you jj gradually stay in your lane keep praying to your god keep working hard and everything is going to be good right on time i mean there's time for everything and to everything there's a season god is seeing you he's seeing your hard work he's seeing your house he's seeing your heart and definitely he's going to pay you he's going to reward you so forget life in the fast lane forget all these um things you see on the internet that will pressure you and make you feel like you're living a worse life no your life is actually beautiful and peaceful as it is because you actually have the luxury of going to work in the morning coming back and going into your own house to sleep climb on your bed your own pillow your own blankets your own comfort as they keep you warm at night as opposed to sleeping in jail so uh, we should think twice so when the devil comes to you in the form of your friends whispering nasty ideas in your ears tell them get thee behind me satan we should not fall for these things all right so thank you guys for watching um on that note we've come to the end of today's video i remain your girl onana and if it is your first time on this channel please go ahead and subscribe because you are definitely going to love it here on this channel we talk all things entertainment we talk about african recipes and we do lifestyle so i'll be looking forward to reading you guys' comments below in the comment section this is a very educative topic so i would like to hear from everybody what is your advice to the youths of today what can you tell the youths what can you tell them to do in case they are facing with a challenge like this you know when somebody comes to them and gives them drugs that oh you can push this for me i'm going to give you 10 million 50 million or whatever what can you advise you to find themselves in such positions it's a you it's a little boy it's a little girl he's thinking about oh my god 50 million my life can change so much with 50 million he's not thinking in the long run the damage that this can do to him in case he gets caught so what is your advice for youths like this who are um approached by this kind of devilish people who want to get them in trouble so subscribe comment like like and share the video so as many youths as possible can see this and this can serve as some sort of determent and nobody's ever going to fall in this kind of trap again thank you guys so much for watching i love you all and i will see you guys in my next video goodbye